So today I'm gonna to be uh, getting this transmission up for my buddy. Uh, I've already started on it. We'll move the exhaust real quick. Um, ain't really done too, too much else. So go ahead and, you know, kind of capture most of it on camera. And uh, cause I've got to replace the differential. So show you guys how to do a little bit of the uh, differential work. Um, you know, set it up, check it out, do the measurements. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. Pretty much bone stock GSR swap. Uh, I've got a intake on it. I put that on there for for him. It's got an Edelbrock 65 millimeter uh, throttle body. You know, a little couple little uh, goodies on her. She's just getting ready for a boost. So as soon as we uh, get everything else worked out, we'll probably be putting some boost to her because he's got another EG. Uh, so he's going to be building that too. We're just waiting on the block work to get done with it. And uh, yeah. Yeah, so next, uh, I didn't really get this on video, but you got a 32 millimeter nut. You've got a 12 millimeter brake line hold down, 17 millimeter nut there, and 17 millimeter nut there for your tie rod in and your upper ball joint. And then your lower 17 millimeter bolt and axle pops right on out. Same thing with the other side, other than that. And it's pretty much simple. Or the same, just uh, opposites. Yeah, so you're missing two teeth off the counter shaft. And then that little tooth right there. And then, uh, yeah. There they all are. But I just got to find a piece, find the pieces. Uh, the counter, I know I have a counter shaft, and I know I've got a ring gear. And I know I've got a differential, so I just got to find them. And then I'll be assembling this bitch after I clean it all up. But luckily, I've got another differential right here, so I can already clean this thing up and then uh, throw it in here and get a, these. <clears throat> so, for uh, first thing you want to do whenever you go to loosen this is uh, detent that or untent that. <laughs> detent is uh, retaining it. So yeah, you just smack that out with a, a little screwdriver and a hammer. And then what I always do is just pull this thing off. And like, if I don't have to, you can see some metal in there. So like, if I didn't have to separate every single gear, um, this trick right here would work awesome. But basically you just flip it right upside down. And then, yeah, you have to do it on the concrete. camera cut off there but yeah just a couple light little tips taps almost there one more yep as soon as that bearing comes off you can kind of smack it a couple more times get the last uh gear and then bam shaft slides right up and then you got this little bearing right here I pull it out so if you were just uh swapping the shaft over which i'm gonna clean every single gear pretty meticulously get all the metal everything out of it um you can just pretty much take this put the bearing on here and then slide it right back down in there flip it over and then voila you got a your gear shaft on your new like if you're replacing it for a brand new final drive and all that shit uh, that's all you'd have to do, but I've got to pull every single gear off and clean it. So I'm just going to do it in order and uh, pull this one off, clean it, drop it on there, next one, so and so, so forth. All right, so yeah, after you get it uh, put on, first gear, reverse synchro, second gear, third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear. And then um, this one, make sure you have... You put the bearing on and then the outer race on second and then this one on top and then make sure you have it pointing downwards and then that concave like middle of the washer that's the highest pointed up and then you lock this down to 80 foot pounds and then your revert or your main shaft or counter shaft sorry counter shaft is done complete just make sure you uh Use assembly lube and lube it up, and uh, that way none of these 
gears have grass cycles. Um, so I got the differential installed. Um, can't really check the clearance on that until after everything's assembled um which you could go ahead and pop the case on and then i could show you do it but i'm gonna go ahead and assemble it all and show you how to do both um clearance checks at the same time but yeah pretty much just push both the gears together i've got my two little shims on here i might as well pull these off and set them right there that way i don't have any issues whenever i'm dropping it down on there they fall off uh, I've got grease on the back, or oil on the back side, so it shouldn't, but of course, while I'm recording, it's going to try to. So, pretty much just put the shift forks uh, on there, like so, and then let me put this uh, phone up real quick. Alright, so, pretty much just drop them in there like that, lift up on this, get it set in there. Skiers kind of being wonky with me. It's kind of hard with one hand. Give me one second. Alrighty, so I accidentally kind of went ahead and did a little too much. So got that in there. Uh, what I had to do is just put the a little bolt in the shift selector, and then I just moved it down and up, and that kind of got it in the right angle for everything so just torque those down torque those down get the reverse idler in there and then just i can't remember where this goes i think it's straight up on this one i think that will drive us the on the side but yeah oh yeah this one yeah point straight up to this one so pretty much just have it right there and then we're gonna go ahead and put the case back on i'm not gonna put rtv on it yet uh because i gotta do the clearances real quick and then it's always a pain in the ass to put RTV on. Check the clearances just to pull it right back apart. So, yeah, uh, let's go ahead and do that. So, pretty much just take the shift forks, put them on there, and then to close them together. Just try to line them all up the best you can. Pull the weight off of them, get them set in there. And just like that, I always try to get all my shifters right on top of the first, the bottom shift uh, spring. And that kind of gets them lined up perfect, so. Alrighty, so best way to uh, that I found, no, oh, of course not, bias grips come up, is uh, take this right here, some bias grips, whatever, put it in here, go down, like pretty much shake the lever, and then go pull it straight back, and then whenever you do that, it lines it up, and then the case drops down, um, and then obviously you have to have the, um, needle nose in here spreading this snap ring that way it gets let, uh, stuck on there and then uh after that you pretty much just thread in two bolts flip it upside down and that gear stack will go into the gear uh snap ring so let me do that real quick heard it gear gear stack just drop down in there that's pretty much all you got to do to get that one pop down in there so first measurement is going to be with the diff you're going to take it of course the concrete slick Alrighty, so after you get everything set up, you kind of just get the 
I used a wrench. And then you push the differential all the way down. Make sure it has no play. Make sure your indicator's uh, zeroed out. Then you put a pry bar on the other side right here and just give her a little push. Shoo! That's a lot, so I'm gonna have to shim that motherfucker. So, yep, gotta put at least a, you know, gotta put a pretty big shim in there. So it's about 60,000, so have to do the math, but that's how you get that measurement. Next one's gonna be on the input shaft. All right, so use a little input shaft end play tool. They're always gonna be made out of aluminum so they don't damage the splines. And then you just kinda set it up to where it's uh, right on zero. And I'll just tap it. Perfect. So, get that uh, little bolt ran down, and then you pretty much just okay. So, about five thousand, and plays good right there. Voila, and that's how you check the input shaft and play. But yeah, um, if this helped you guys out, uh, smash this uh, like and subscribe, and go ahead and give us a, you know some comments on feedback. Uh, plan on doing a whole lot of videos. This is the first video I've ever done by myself, so uh, pardon me if it's uh, not too too great. But yeah, <clears throat> instead of just talking to the transmission. Might as well show my face. But yeah, um, this is kind of my first video by myself. So bear with me. Uh, they will get better. Uh, I am looking for somebody to help me kind of with the videos and stuff. But yeah, that's how you check the input sh input, input shaft end play and uh, differential end play on a B-Series Honda transmission. Um, yeah, thanks, and, uh, thanks again for tuning in and checking this video out. Um, see you soon.